Welcome to another edition of Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge Tips and Tricks brought to you by HollywoodFurdo.com. I'm Eric and today we're going to be talking about a cool feature that uh, Samsung baked into the S7 and S7 Edge. This is one of those features you hope you never ever need, but if you ever do, you're going to be glad that they thought of it and that they put it in there. And that is the uh, SOS alert feature. Basically it allows you to set up an alert, uh, set up contacts, that if you were in an emergency situation, you press your power button three times and uh, it immediately sends them information. It takes a picture with a front camera, a picture with a back camera, it can take five seconds of audio, and it sends all of that information as well as your location on a map. So a really cool feature if you're ever in an emergency situation where you uh, would need it, it's nice to know it's there. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to set that up. We're gonna go into settings. We're gonna hit the settings button right there. And then we're gonna go down to uh, privacy and emergency. That's what it's called on my phone. On your phone, it might be called privacy and safety. Same thing. We're gonna click that. And right here you see under emergency, send SOS messages. So if you click that, Tells you right here, press the power key quickly three times to send a quick alert to your emergency contacts when you are in an emergency situation. And uh, basically, when you first go into this, if it's, it's going to be off and you turn it on, mine's just going to ask me for contacts, that's because I'd already turned it on and messed with it a little bit. When you turn it on for the first time, you're actually going to get a pop-up uh, with a, a license agreement. Basically, Samsung is, you know, covering themselves legally to let you know that uh, if this feature were to fail or something, they are not liable. This is meant as something to help you, but they, you know, they can't promise you anything. So you have to click that you've read the terms and you agree to them and agree to them. Secondly, uh, the app needs uh, storage permission and so if that's not already enabled on your device and it probably isn't then it'll ask you to enable that it'll give you a button that you'll click to go into that and just turn on storage uh, accessibility for this app then the last thing you need to do is you need obviously to add contact so I'm gonna click add now you can create a new contact or you can select from your existing contacts chances are you probably are going to select from your existing contacts because why would you be sending emergency information to someone who's not even in your phone? Uh, but for the sake of this review, because I can't show you guys my friend's phone numbers, they would kill me, I'm going to create contact and I'm going to make my contact uh, Superman because, hey, if anyone can help me in emergency, it's him. And then uh, I'm going to make up Superman's phone number and I'm going to click save and you can have up to four contacts so you can have just one or you can have up to four and every person will receive all the pieces of information now if you turn pictures and recording off it would just send your location and with the message that says I need help uh, but if you want to have pictures added and audio recording added you can select those three things it doesn't send everything in one message it sends a message with the picture from the front camera, a message with a picture from the back camera. Then separately it sends a message with the audio recording, then separately it sends a message with your location. And the message also says, I need help. So they know you're not just sending them text messages. The message clearly says, I need help or help me. So it would get those messages to them. Of course, you probably want to let these people know that you have this activated. So in case that ever happened, they would, they would know, hey, you, you really do need help. Um, anyway, that's how it works. Now, I'm going to show you that it works. We're not gonna, you're not going to be able to see that the, what the recipient gets uh, exactly because uh, there's, I just made up a fake number. But if I hit this three times, one, two, three, then you see the little alert signal that's up there. And if I were to drag down, you'd see right here, sending message. So it's attempting to send those messages. Of course, none of them are going to get through because that's a bogus, uh, completely bogus uh, uh, phone number that I uh, sent. And it's saying right now, invalid destination address. It's telling you that that address does not work. Um, but what I can do is I can go into uh, File Explorer to show you what is being sent because it saves it to uh, a folder called emergency. And so you can see, it took a picture with the front camera, a picture with the back camera, which is 
explain because it's laying down right now and also recorded five seconds of audio and sent that and then it also like I said sends a link to your location on a map so really all the information you need in an emergency situation gets sent automatically by tapping that three times anyway that's how it works like I said hopefully a feature that you never need but maybe a feature you want to activate in case you ever do that's it for this tip and trick video. If you like this video, please click that like button. Uh, jump over to my channel. Subscribe to this playlist for all kinds of S7 and S7 Edge tips, tricks, uh, accessory reviews, and things like that. Also, check out my product uh, review channel, and you'll find out about all kinds of cool accessories for any phone. Uh, Bluetooth headphones and speakers and uh, keyboards and just all kinds of cell phone accessories as well as household products reviews and appliances and check out my Android app review playlist to find out about some really cool apps that will help make your S7 even better and if you really want to take it to the next level and automate tasks on your phone then check out my Tasker 101 tutorials. Anyway that's it until next time have fun with your Samsung Galaxy S7.